A couple of years ago, a man in a self-described terrorist attack ran down a Muslim family. And the more that we see from him in his court case and the more that we learn about his motives, the more important it is that politicians stand up against the things that he's talking about. He was rallying against the far left, cited grooming conspiracies, and also said that the reason that he had to do it was because he was being silenced. Because of the media and information he was consuming online, he felt as though he had no choice but to take matters into his own hands. And look at how completely unrelated these things are. The far left, grooming, a Muslim family. None of these things are really connected, but in his mind, they're all part of one vast evil conspiracy that the woke left is trying to take away his country from him. A conspiracy and mindset that we have seen being peddled by some politicians in this country. And once again, this isn't us jumping to conclusions. These are his own words, his own statements, his own views. He is putting it all on the table for us to see. And this is the harm that comes from politicians using hateful rhetoric to spur their base. Whether it's the trans kid in Nova Scotia who was beat up for being trans this week, or the trans kid in Ontario who took their own life for being bullied, the one remaining child of this family who lost literally everybody in the world to them, and for all the other victims of hate crimes in Canada that have been on the rise over the past few years. And yet, we have seen premiers in this country, political leaders on the federal level, be silent and say nothing. And I don't have to tell you what party it is. I don't have to tell you who the leaders are. You know, because regardless of whether or not you support them, you know who we're talking about. And you can say, oh, well, they're not saying the hateful, violent things, but it doesn't matter. They're being silent. They're not calling it out. And their silence is complicit in the violence that is occurring because silence is siding with the oppressor. And we need to do better in this country so that stuff like this never happens again.